This view of the model reveals the anterior triangle of the neck. This area is bordered by the sternocleidomastoid muscle laterally, the inferior border of the mandible superiorly, and the midline of the neck medially. Before we talk about the muscles found in the anterior triangle, let's talk about the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle has two heads. The sternal head has an origin on the sternum, sternum and an insertion on the lateral half of the superior nuchal line. The clavicular head has an origin on the clavicle and inserts on the lateral surface of the mastoid process. When both sternocleidomastoid muscles contract together, the head flexes at the atlanto-occipital joint. When only one muscle contracts, the head tilts toward the same side, but the head rotates to turn the face towards the opposite side. In this view, you can see the hyoid bone. All the muscles we will be talking about in the anterior triangle attached to this bone. Now let us consider the infrahyoid muscles or the muscles that are found below the hyoid, which you can't really see here, in the anterior triangle. There are four infrahyoid muscles. Because of their appearance, they are sometimes referred to as the strap muscles. All four attached to, to the hyoid, attach the hyoid to inferior structures, and all act to depress the hyoid. The sternohyoid has an origin on the manubrium of the sternum and inserts on the body of the hyoid. The muscles of the anterior triangle can be better viewed if we remove the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You should also be aware that the sternohyoid muscle, which is present on this side, is not present on this side so that you can better see the muscles underneath it. First, let's talk about the amohyoid muscle. This muscle has two bellies connected by a tendon. The tendon in between the two bellies attaches to the clavicle near its medial end by a facial sling, which is not present in this model. The superior belly ascends from this tendon and asserts on the hyoid, lateral to the attachment of the sternohyoid. The inferior belly has an origin on the superior border of the scapula. The amohyoid depresses and fixes the hyoid. The thyroid has an origin on the thyroid cartilage of the larynx, of which you can see the front of here. It inserts on the greater horn of the hyoid and the body of the hyoid over here. The sternothyroid arises from the manubrium of the sternum and inserts on the thyroid cartilage just underneath the origin of the thyrohyoid. This muscle depresses the larynx of which the thyroid cartilage is a part. 